Hello and welcome. I'm Bio. And today we're looking at another Denture to Go game. I don't know how we're going to get on with this, but we're going to give it a go. Densha, Densha, go. Densha, go. Densha, the Densha, the Densha, the Densha, the Go, go, go. Deary me. Yep, Densha, the 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 I do like that. That's that, that's an awesome little little tune going on in the title screen. But yes, this is Densha to Go Tokubetsu Hen Fukasu Showa no Yamano te, Yamano te Sen. I know, long old title. It is the oh, basically I call it Densha to Go DS because it is the only Densha to Go DS game. And it is also the final Densha to Go game they did before they had a massive break massive break. So this game came out on July 22nd, 2010. It's published by Square Enix, but it's developed by Taito. And basically after this game came out, we had a 10-year gap before we got, or over 10 years, well no yeah, it was about a 10-year gap before we got another Denture to Go game, because there was a Denture to Go arcade game, and then you have the Denture to Go Switch game, which also came out on PS4. So yeah, Good fun. Good fun is all I can say with that. But let's dive into it. I don't know how exactly this game's going to work. It's been a while since I've actually done a DS game on the channel. Like, recording a, recorded a new DS game is what I should say. Not the re-uploads. So, I don't know how exactly we're gonna control this, exactly. It seems like the, the girl has been replaced with a train ticket mascot now. All right, so I guess this is the modes that we can pick. Well, but let's go. Let's go in the go mode. Oh, of course, we've got to pick our name. Well, of course, we're going to go with the man himself. There it is. There's my, there's my <laughs> terrible license. Um... Pick option one, I guess. I'll pick that one. Yep, sure. I don't know how exactly this is going to work on the DS. I have no clue. Oh, here we are. Oh, it's completely using touchscreen controls from this. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it's showing us the speed up, speed down thing. Okay. Kilometer right. All right, we gotta wait until that light turns on. And now we can go, so... We can now go up. So we don't actually control the stick itself, we just press up and down on the speed. And we're, and we're off. We're off. Don't know what the speed limit is. Speed is 50, so okay, so we gotta go to neutral now to let us coast. Don't know how you know what the speed limit is. I don't see it anywhere on the screen. Okay. So we're just coasting along. Oh, there's another train. What? Oh, we passed, I think. Okay. Oh, I think I pressed that we're doing it again. I think, maybe? Well, you can't not say that they haven't simplified the controls with this. Like, quite literally, it is... You pick f three different speeds for up, for going forward, and three... Uh, like, there's like... Well, you could say six gears... So you definitely can't say that isn't real simple. Hmm. 
So yeah, that, that so the so the left hand button is basically retry. So we've just retried the same thing again. So if we click the middle button, does middle button does nothing, right? I think the middle button just replays the thing again. So there we go. So the the right button progresses. Right. So we've done that. Fantastic. So. Nah. But we've done it though, right? Are we doing the actual thing now or are we doing the same thing again? Oh, why are we doing the tutorial again? What are you doing, game? No, what are you, what are you doing? Nope. Oh, you stupid fucking game. Yes, so we're back here. We don't want to do 1-1 one, one again. We want to go... We want to go here. We want to go ahead. Or maybe that's it for that. No. Um... Understand. Why didn't you let me do anything more than it's only letting me go here? But we've done this. We've done the tutorial. We we've done the tutorial. We don't need to do the tutorial again. Why won't you let me progress? For some reason, the game just won't let me progress, for some reason. Right. What's this mode do, then? Oh, at least we're doing something different now. Well, I was just a bit annoyed that it looked very looks it looked very clearly that there was more stages to unlock there, but it just wouldn't lock them. Why I don't know. Very strange. But at least now we're actually playing something different than the tutorial. Just, I don't understand. I I completed the tutorial and it was like nah. We're not going to unlock the next part of the game for you. Fuck you. <laughs> it's a bit strange. Fine, yeah. so 60 is the speed limit. There's nothing to tell me what the speed limit is, which is fantastic, but you know. Push comes to shove. So we want to slow down. Slowing down too fast. And we did it. We did it! Holding our hand again, but still we did it. Okay. Well, let's pick number two for this. Why not? Oh, what are we in now? What is this thing? 
Oh, so there is a bit more complicated ones. So now we can go. So this is like an old, older train. This game is cool. I like it. I just, it's a shame that, I don't know, I just, it wouldn't let me go past the tutorial. But at least we're playing different levels with this. But this is going to be mixed feelings for another reason. But if I, I'm going to be honest with you. If there were, if another Denture to Go game was to get a fan translation this is the one you want to do just because of how like more simple this game is 100 percent. this is this is the one you want to be doing next as an english fan translation and i forgot to say there is a bunch of um denture to go games on the psp but from the look of things they look very similar to the like they look like portable versions of the ps2 games that's why i chose not to to do any of them so Okay, so I am kind of. Going way past it. Way past it. I thought he was holding my hand again, but I guess he wasn't. But, um, but I think I've seen enough. It seems like a more simplified version of the Denshida Go series, which is why I like. That's good good is again they had to make it a bit more simple because it's the ds but yeah i'm gonna be honest with you if this game got an english fan translation hell i'd be putting it on my r4 <laughs> giving it a go so but yeah i'm gonna call it there for this one um so far i'm gonna be honest with you this is the one i would say so far this is the one i would recommend and say if, oh, if someone said to me like Besides, obviously, playing the N64 game, because that actually does have an English patch. They said, oh, could you recommend one of the Japanese-only ones, you know, that doesn't have an English patch? I would say, I'd probably say, yeah, go to the DS one. But just be careful, because it might take a while to navigate a few things. But it's simple. At least. Shame that they replaced the, the, the girl conductor. Uh, or whatever. Um, mascot with a bloody sentient train ticket but it is what it is i've been bio thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye